As we turn now to the latest from the state capitol, the drama there continuing to unfold with just three days left in this legislative session. The House Committee investigating Attorney General Ken Paxton has recommended articles of impeachment against the fellow Republican. Right. The decision comes after a range of allegations that Paxton abused the power of his office. Our Chris Sadegi joins us now here in studio with the latest developments. And Chris, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is now weighing in on all of this. Yes, and this legislative session coming to an end with a bang that not very many people were anticipating this morning. Attorney General Ken Paxton is one step closer to being impeached, something we have not seen happen in Austin since 1917. On Thursday, a House committee unanimously adopted the articles of impeachment that detail 20 different charges, including bribery, obstruction of justice, abuse of public trust, and being unfit for office. Much like impeachments on the federal level, the House of Representatives will vote first. We've been told that will likely happen sometime in the next 48 hours. If they vote to impeach Paxton. That means a trial will happen in the Senate who could then vote to remove Paxton from office. Both chambers are led by Republicans, but so was the committee that brought this investigation in the first place. So Paxton might not be able to depend on the party line supporting him. Another Republican that will play a big role is Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who would preside over a Senate trial if it gets to that point. Our senior political reporter Jason Whiteley got an ex exclusive interview with him shortly after this news broke and asked him about what comes next. The senators all 31 senators will uh, have a vote and uh, and we'll set the rules for that trial as we go forward and uh, and we'll see what uh, we'll see how that develops but uh, I really can't make any other comments on it do, do you think there are votes to convict based on what we Jason I else? can't say a word about it I, I look if would you go to a judge and say judge can you tell me how the case is going to turn out so I, I'm not at, I'm, I'm not at liberty to say and by the way I don't cast a vote the 31 members cast a vote. I preside over it. And I mentioned that we expect a vote in the House here in the next couple days. If they do vote to impeach, it would probably take a few months before they're ready for that Senate trial to happen. It's been interesting following the story, Chris, because Paxton already is under felony indictment for other acts that aren't even associated with this. But, you know, as you might expect, he kind of came out swinging yesterday. And there's been a lot of back and forth here in the last couple days. He's been very critical of the process, specifically criticizing House Speaker Dave Phelan. And late yesterday, we did get this statement. He said this process provided no opportunity for rebuttal or due process. They even refuse to allow a senior attorney from my office to provide facts. So a lot could happen here in the next couple yeah. days with this vote. All right. Thanks there, Chris. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, it wasn't just him who responded. The Democratic Party out of the state of Texas also released a statement saying that they fully support the House voting to impeach Paxton, but think it'd be better for everybody if Paxton saved legislators the trouble and taxpayer money and simply resigned on his own accord. Of course, be sure to stay with WFA right right and our website, WFA.com, for in-depth coverage on possible impeachment proceedings. Jason Whiteley will be reporting from Austin throughout the day, bringing us all the latest updates.